Good afternoon, everybody. This is Dr. Murli Bharadwaj, your classmate, your YouTube mate, your WhatsApp mate, your reading room mate for the preparation for the NEET PG. Aaj hum ek garma garam topic discuss karenge. Female genital anatomy. Ye itna dry, evaporable subject hai ki very easy to forget that's the reason i want to become your classmate to take the pen and paper sit with you or dekhenge what are those 10 point 20 points which are very important for the examiner acha bachcho let us start what is the blood supply of vagina you need to have an imagination where is the vagina located this is the vagina, this becomes uterus. Anterior to that you have the bladder and behind it you have the rectum. This basic arrangement given by the God, you will remember everything about blood supply. The anterior part, anterior part is supplied by inferior vesicular artery, obviously no, because Anterior to vagina, cone hai, bladder hai, bladder hota hai, vesicle, so inferior vesicle artery. Now, the whole vagina, wholesale business hai, whole vagina is vaginal branch of internal iliac artery. Internal iliac artery is the major artery, obviously it will supply whole, whole of the vagina. Now, the upper part, upper part of the vagina, Vagina upper part kisse mil rahe uterus se. So that is the reason the vaginal branch of the uterine artery is supplying the upper part. Now the lower part of the vagina. So the lower part of the vagina and the posterior part of the vagina. It is supplied by vagina ke piche kya hai? Iske piche hai rectum. So middle rectal artery. And the branch of internal pudendal artery, they are the ones which supply the posterior part of the vagina, is what you have to basically remember. So, vagina beach me, bladder age, rectum piche, this is the basic anatomy you need to remember. Now, where are the veins? The veins supplying, I mean, draining the vagina, they all drain into internal iliac veins. Artery nahi hai, veins, internal iliac veins is what you have to remember. Achha. Vaginal mucosa, ka, what is the type of epithelium? Stratified squamous non-keratinized. You can't imagine keratin in the vagina, right? So, non-keratinized epithelium, stratified squamous. Why it is stratified? It has to bear the rough and tough. Uh, friction, so that is the reason it should be stratified. Now, Bartholin and the skin glands and the transudation of the vessels that is contributing for the vaginal lubrication during the time of uh, the coitus. One of the favorite MCQs of examiner Does vaginal lamina propria has any glands? No, sir, no glands. All that lubrication is because of the Bartholin's glands skin glands and the transpiration that is what you should remember then there is a small difference between female and male genital urinary tract if you look at the male genital urinary tract genital urinary tract there is an internal urethral sphincter but that is not there in the case of the female is what you have to basically remember very good up tuck Toda samaj mein aagya hai, aagya padhenge. Point number five, Bartholin's glands, they are also called as vestibular glands. Is ka speciality kya hai? They are the ones which are secreting the mucus, helping the lubrication of the vagina. Now, these are homologous to the bulbo-urethral glands of Cowper. Cowper in the male. They are 
homologous to the bulbo urethral glands of the cowper is what you need to remember. Achha bhaiya, naru supply kya hai? Pudendal nerve is giving rise to inferior rectal nerve and the posterior labial nerve and they are the ones which are supplying the lower part of the vagina. Lower part of the vagina. Isliye agar aap you want to do any procedure, you want to anesthetize the vagina, so you will be doing pudendal block and you will be infiltrating the local anesthetic. What is the landmark for infiltration? You should always have a bony landmark. Ischial spine is the area where you will be infiltrating the local anesthetic while you are doing the pudendal block is what you need to remember. Now, Gartner cyst Bartholin cyst, favorite MCQ of the examiner. Gartner cyst is a remnant of the mesonephric duct. So the embryology ki baat hai, Gartner cyst ka. Bartholin gland aap ko malum hai, is liye Bartholin cyst is something that you, um, in the, since you know the gland, obviously it forms a cyst. Bartholin cyst typically is posterolateral, Gartner cyst is anterolateral, opening into the vaginal wall anterolaterally. How will you remember? Bhaiya, gate hota hai ghar ke aage, opposite, I mean anterior. Gate, gate is anterior. So Gartner cyst is also anterolateral vaginal wall. Backyard hota hai ghar ke piche. So Bartholin cyst is posterolateral. ये छोटे छोटे चीजों में भगवान रहता है डॉक्टर एंड यू हैव बी वेरी क्लियर एग्जाम से आके ओ आई थॉट इट एज एंट्रोलेटरल सॉरी इज इट पोस्टरोलेटरल नक को बोलना राइट प्रेसिशन प्रेसिशन गॉड इज इन स्मॉल डिटेल्स नाउ डॉक्टर बार्थलिन ग्लैंड वर्सेस काउपर्स बल्बो यूरिथ्रल ग्लैंड गर्ल्स वर्सेस बॉयज लेट अस सी Bartholin gland is in female, cowper is in the male. Donang ka kaam lubrication hi lubrication hai. So lubrication of the lower vagina is the kaam of Bartholin. Whereas lubrication is the feature in the case of the males, even cowper's glands function. Gonorrhea leads to itis, Bartholinitis. Gonorrhea, favorite MCQ of the examiner. Now, where does Bartholin duct open? It opens into posterior lateral part of the vagina. And where does Cowper's bulbo urethral gland open? The duct opens into the penile part of the urethra. It is also called spongy part. Penile part of the urethra into which the Cowper's will open. But main difference is this Bartholin is superficial to the perineal membrane. That is the reason it, it is a content of Superficial perineal pouch. Once more, our egg batti marne wala topic hai. Contents of the superficial perineal pouch, deep perineal pouch. What is the perineal body? My, I will pick up another video. I will make another video for all of you to remember. Right? Now, Cowper's gland. Typically, it is deeper to the perineal membrane. That is the reason it is the content of deep perineal pouch. Is what you have to remember. Very good. Seven points clear. Achha. Toda ye out of focus ho gaya. Isko focus mein laenge. Haan, right. So, 25 years back I used to teach using overhead projectors. Those days LCD projectors, ye sab cheeze nahi tha. Even before that, when I was a medical student, I used to take pen and paper, prepare notes like this, sit with my classmates, juniors, seniors, and uh, I used to be like Professor Murali Bharadwaj, even though I was in second year, third year MBBS. Always one thing you should remember, doctor, on the eve of teacher's day, I like to tell you, become a teacher in somebody's life. If you are useful in somebody else's life, if your mission is somebody else getting the seat in MD, automatically unknowingly you will only get the seat right so that is the simple secret we all should pledge that we should teach every day we should prepare and teach every day 
we should write handwritten notes of the crucial topics where there is a confusion always where clarity is required right doc now length of posterior vaginal wall is more than the anterior vaginal wall where do you find clue cells doctor clue cells are typically seen in vagina and uh, they are those organism laden cells in bacterial vaginosis now how is the vaginal sphincter formed vaginal sphincter is formed by pubococcygeus bulbospongiosis external urethral sphincter urethrovaginal sphincter there is no internal urethral sphincter in case of the vagina in the case of the females is what you need to remember and how is pubococcygeus formed pubo vaginalis and pubo urethralis is what you should remember so that is the story of vagina now doctor fallopian tube five points we shall remember about it fertilization hota hai ampulla of the fallopian tube mein it is the longest part of the fallopian tube what is the epithelium of fallopian tube ciliated columnar cells because फालोपियन ट्यूब में क्या होता है बोटिंग बोटिंग होता है स्पर्म का बोटिंग होता है सो सिलियटेड कलमनार्स एंड वेट यू डू ट्यूबल लाइगेशन ट्यूबल लाइगेशन इज डन एट इस्तमस वॉट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन साइट फॉर द एक्टोपिक प्रेगनेंसी इट इज वंस मोर आई एम फिला बिकॉज इट इज वेरी ब्रॉड दैट इज द रीजन इट कैन एकोमोडेट आई एम फिला मोर देन इस्तमस in the fallopian tube you see peg cells peg 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 cells and what is the length of the fallopian tube 10 cm is the length of the fallopian tube now uterus bhaiya uterus mein two concepts favorite concepts of the examiner antiversion ka angle kitna hai anti flexion ka so you should know what is the meaning of it ye vagina hai ये सर्विक्स है ये यूटिलस है समझ में आ गया ना ये वेजेना का एक एक्सिस है एंड सर्विक्स का एक लॉन्ग एक्सिस है लॉन्ग एक्सिस कितना है ये एंगल कितना है 90 डिग्रीज फटाफट बोलो कितना है 90 डिग्रीज बिटवीन वेजेनल एंड सर्वाइकल and that is called the angle of antiversion which is typically 90 degrees then as anti flexion kya hota hai very simple cervix ko cervix ko angle hai and the body of uterus is having a uh, axis so the cervical and the body of the uterus ye dono ke beech mein jo hai na doctor this angle this is 170 degrees which is called the angle of anti flexion is what you need to remember now let us take up the point number 10 broad ligaments what is the contents of broad ligaments you should be very sure mnemonic is b r o a t b hota hai bundle इसमें ओवेरियन न्यूरोवैस्कुलर बंडल रहता है आर इज राउंड लिगमेंट ओ इज ओवेरियन लिगमेंट ये इज द आर्टिफैक्ट दैट इज ऑल दोज वेस्टिजियल स्ट्रक्चर एंड डी इज अ डक्ट डक्ट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ओविडक्ट ओविडक्ट इज दूसरा नाम ऑफ फैलोपियन डक्ट इट इज ऑल्सो द कंटेंट ऑफ द ब्रॉड लिगमेंट इज वॉट यू शुड रिमेंबर अच्छा भैया वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एरिया पहुंच गए हम सपोर्ट्स ऑफ यूटिरस इसके लिए जरा आपको थ्री डायमेंशनल ओरिएंटेशन रहना है राइट सो डॉक्टर मुरली भरद्वाज इज देयर टू गिव यू दैट थ्री डी ओरिएंटेशन भैया ये यूटिरस है डोम ऑफ द यूटिरस है यहां से निकल रहे हैं हमारा फैलोपियन ट्यूब्स फैलोपियन ट्यूब्स बढ़िया और यहां आपका ब्रॉड लिगमेंट वेरी ब्रॉड ब्रॉड लिगमेंट है 
देन यू आर हैविंग दिस इज कॉल्ड ओवेरियन लिगमेंट ओवेरियन यहां भी ओवेरियन लिगमेंट है और इसके ऊपर जा रहे हैं राउंड लिगमेंट राउंड लिगमेंट राइट और यहां आपका कार्डिनल लिगमेंट कार्डिनल लिगमेंट है और ऊपर से सस्पेंसरी लिगमेंट आके पीछे से ये ओवरी को सस्पेंड कर रहा है सस्पेंसरी लिगमेंट राइट सो दीज आर द इंपॉर्टेंट लिगमेंट बराबर समझ में आ गया ना ओवेरियन लिगमेंट राउंड लिगमेंट कार्डिनल लिगमेंट ब्रॉड लिगमेंट सस्पेंसरी लिगमेंट फटाफट बोल देना हा और एक ओरिएंटेशन में देखो दिस इज यूट्रस दिस इज दी ओवरी सस्पेंडेड बाई ओवेरियन सस्पेंसरी लिगमेंट एंड द ओवेरियन आर्टरी एंड वीन आर पासिंग थ्रू दैट एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड द ओवेरियन लिगमेंट राइट दिस इज द ओवेरियन लिगमेंट नाउ वॉट आर द कंटेंट्स वॉट आर द कंटेंट्स ऑफ दिस लिगमेंट्स फर्स्ट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड ये राउंड लिगमेंट जो है राउंड लिगमेंट इसके नीचे से यू हैव दिस सैमसन सार्ट्री विच इज पासिंग डॉक्टर सैमसन सार्ट्री एंड सैमसन सार्ट्री इज द एनेस्टमोसिस बिटवीन यूटरीन आर्ट्री एंड ओवेरियन आर्ट्री देर ओनली टू ऑर्गन्स यूट्रस है और एक ओवरी है सो इन दोनों ब्लड वेजल्स के बीच में एनेस्टमोसिस इज सैमसन सार्ट्री विच रन अंडर दी अंडर दी राउंड लिगमेंट and the round ligament kya kaam kya hai it will typically connect the fundus fundus of uterus with the, the labia majora labia majora is what you need to remember at the time of hysterectomy some of you are going to become top gynecologists top obstetricians hai na to last 20 years so many of my students top consultants across the country whenever i meet them i feel very proud I remember those evenings where we all sat together and had been studying the same concept, right, Doc? So you, some of you are going to become great infertility specialists, laparoscopic surgeons, right? But I have the privilege, being Dr. Murli Bharadwaj, to sit with you this evening. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. And uh, any injury to this Samson artery. can lead to post operative hemi hemoperitoneum is what you have to remember so now doctor we have reached one more point we need to know before we go to the supports of uterus right ha huh. what is that what is it suspensory ligament of the ovary it is also called infundibulo pelvic ligament and it contains the ovarian vessels ovarian vessels aap ek baat yaad rakhna ओवेरियन वेजल्स ओवेरियन लिगमेंट से नहीं चलता के अंदर नहीं चलता ओवेरियन लिगमेंट हैज नो वेजल्स एट ऑल ओवेरियन वेजल्स चलता है सस्पेंसरी लिगमेंट ऑफ द ओवरी के अंदर चलता देन कार्डिनल लिगमेंट का दूसरा नाम है प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट डॉक्टर ट्रांसवर्स सर्वाइकल लिगमेंट बोले तो भी दैट इज कार्डिनल ओनली मैकेन रॉड्स लिगमेंट इज ऑल्सो कार्डिनल ओनली सो इट हैज थ्री डिफरेंट नेम्स right like kochi kochin calicut kochikode like that now it contains uterine vessels they are the ones which are carried by cardinal ligament so this is in summary now doctor let us understand what are the supports of uterus supports of uterus this is labium majora your round ligament of uterus is passing through the inguinal canal and it is typically reaching the uterus here is the ovary and you have the ligament of the ovary ligament of the ovary then you should also remember these are the side walls the side walls of the pelvis so here you have the cervix of the uterus you have the rectum posteriorly or sabse piche hota hai sacrum right so uterus is connected with the sacrum that is the reason this is called utero sacral ligament utero sacral ligament and the cervix is connected to the side walls this is called the transverse ligament of the cervix iska dusra naam hai 
Meccan rods ligament is what you need to remember. Now, doctor, supports of uterus are of two kinds. Are of two kinds. Sorry, once more we are a bit of out of focus. Yes. Now, peritoneal folds, non-peritoneal folds. What are the peritoneal folds? Uterovisical fold, rectovaginal fold. Obviously, uterus ke piche, rectum hai, aage, bladder hai. So, uterovisical peritoneal fold, rectovaginal peritoneal fold. They are the peritoneal folds, which are the supports. Then you have the non-peritoneal, non-peritoneal, what are they? The transverse ligament of the uterus, which is also called McEnroe's ligament, cardinal ligament, Jobi up bole. Then uterosacral ligament, that is also another important uh, non-peritoneal ligament support. Then the ovarian ligament, ovarian ligament, sorry, yes, ovarian ligament, that is also another support. And you have the round ligament of uterus. So that is the basic gyan and a quick summary of uh, uh, our understanding about this concept of anatomy of female genital tract. So don't forget call 9000868356 and uh, buy the subscription to the video library of online mbbs.com 30,000 MCQs ka discussion kiya 953 high yield topics ka review kiya 600 hours of video lectures are there like this and there are powerpoints online mock tests aapko jo chahiye sab kuch hai so for the next four months take a subscription until the entrance exam please call our helpline number and good luck and enjoy the preparation. Aram Singh. Thank you.